Here we have a Suna 4.2 kilowatt inverter, 4200 TL. Um, now Suna, another brand which uh, is pretty much the same thing but in a different box is a Sunny Roo uh, 4200 TL inverter. And this one's actually coming up with an ER29 error on the screen. At the moment it's showing AL07, but what it does, come, oh, there we are, ER29. Now ER29, according to the Sooner or Sunny Roo inverter manual, means the input uh, DC current is uh, over the specs of the inverter. Uh, now that might be the case sometimes, but in this case, it certainly is not the case because uh, I know the solar power we got connected to this system and it's a, a very overcast day and it's certainly not uh, overcurrent at the moment. We might be getting one amp in there at the moment. So this ER29 error is something which is definitely a problem with the inverter in this case. So what it does when it has the ER29 error, it'll try to reboot the system. You can see the green light flashing there. That's meaning it's trying to start up. It's, uh, it's rebooting the system, which usually takes one to two minutes. And uh, then it's gonna, you hear the relays clicking in inside the inverter, then it's coming up with this ER29 error again. So if your Sooner or Sunny Roo solar inverter is coming up with this ER29 error, one thing you can try and do is reboot the system. I don't like the chances of that fixing it, uh, but look, it's something you can certainly try. And when you're rebooting a system, it's always important that you follow the correct shutdown procedure of the inverter, which is first off, you turn off the solar supply main switch or the inverter AC isolator. Our solar supply main switch is always located in your switchboard uh, or the inverter AC isolator, which we've got here in this case. Um, some, if your inverter is beside your, your switchboard, you most likely don't have one of these. It would just be the solar supply main switch in the, in the switchboard. But in this case, we turn off the inverter AC isolator and then we turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter, which we've got on the other side here. And we'll just throw that off and we'll wait for that screen to go completely blank, which hasn't taken long at all there. And we'll try to reboot the system. Now we've restarted these uh, systems. It doesn't really matter at all the order which, which you turn it on. Either AC first or DC, it just doesn't matter. So we'll try from the AC, we'll throw on the DC there and we'll Wait a couple of minutes while it starts up, attempt, attempts to start up and see if that changes anything. Now, uh, if you do have inverter, uh, Sooner or Sunny Roo inverter coming up with this ER29 error, unfortunately, the Sooner company or the Sunny Roo company or Beyond Building company, whatever whatever name you might have on your inverter, uh, that, those companies have disappeared now. So. If you were wanting to try and get it fixed under warranty or repaired by the manufacturer or something like that, unfortunately it's just not going to happen there. They're not around at all anymore. So in my opinion, the best thing to do, if it is consistently coming up with this ER29 error, is to replace the inverter with a good quality replacement unit. You could, you could always try and get it repaired um, by someone, but in reality you're probably going to be looking at probably $500 or so to get it repaired. And then you're still left of it with an inverter with absolutely no warranty. It's unfortunately of inferior quality and uh, you're most likely going to have a problem again. It's much better off, in my opinion, to spend a little bit more and get a good quality replacement unit with a full warranty. So we'll just see how it's going there. You see the green light's still flashing. It's telling us here that A voltage, so that's input A voltage is 220 volts. So that's right in the range of the inverter. This one keeps on coming up with the AL07 alarm code as well, and that's just telling us that it's not detecting, well, it's detecting that input B into the inverter is under voltage, so that's totally normal when we've, uh, we've only got one input into this inverter. This is a dual maximum power point tracking inverter, and at the moment we've only got one of the trackers uh, connected. So we'll just see how we go here. Now, if you are having issues with your solar inverter and you're on the Gold Coast or Brisbane or South East Queensland area, uh, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help you. You see, we're still coming up with that ER29 error. So this one, the rebooting the system hasn't made any difference at all. So there's a definite a replacement uh, job here. So look, I hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks very much for watching this video.